He's the bank manager who was once caught counting with his fingers, and now he's Sir Alan's latest victim. It's Matt Lucas lookalike Kevin Shaw. Yeah, well, you know, that certainly isn't anything new. You know, I remember when I was 16 or 15, I was when I was at you know, football and at the gym, people used to say it to me then. So, you know, I think people seem to think that suddenly someone just mentioned it to me when I started The Apprentice and I didn't know about it. You know, it's, it's old news, I've heard it, like, you know, thousands of times. But, you know, what, what's bad about being compared to one of the best comedians who's on British television at the moment, I think it's really funny. I've got no problems with it at all. All right, Kevin, we were just saying. Anyway, after spending six hours struggling to write an environmentally themed greeting card, the 24-year-old admitted defeat. The previous five tasks, you know, I didn't necessarily think the next task I'm going to be fired on. You know, you just don't foresee that. Anyone can make mistakes. But, yeah, absolutely, I think based on that particular task, I should have been fired. But it wasn't all bad news, as the editors of The Apprentice would have us believe. Well, that's according to Kevin, who's got his own theory about how he's been portrayed in the show. They're not going to show all of the best parts for, a, you know, a team who lose, because, you know, they, you've only got sort of 35 minutes to, to, to show the audience as to why why that particular team ends up in the boardroom. So, but I, I you know, you've, you've just got to bear in mind that you go into the show, you know what happens, you know one of you is going to be fired. Uh, so you need to appreciate, um, if you're on a losing team, that, you know, there's going to be bad parts in there. Uh, it's because it's, you know, it's entertainment as well. Um, but I think if you dwell on the fact that, oh, you know, they didn't put my best part in or something like that, then, you know, it's not the Kevin show, it's not the Alex show, it's The Apprentice, and that's what happens. And when it comes to a winner, Kevin knows where his loyalties lie. If any of the, the chaps win this year, I will be very, very happy because they're very nice people and I think they deserve to win because they work extremely hard. So now we're down six. Only ten more to go.